Now at this point in time, we've made all our decisions on this protocol for setup options. As a last method of saving, we want to make sure that we click the button in the lower right hand corner that says use these settings. As we click this, this will save these settings and lock this folder. So I click it and it takes us back to our setup home screen. Okay. Now what I'll notice is under training ID we see the build test one and also is if I scrolled slightly over to folder selections and click that button we will also see now we've added build test one as we zoom in into that fo select folder window and this is where this library will begin to build as you add clients this list will get longer but as they came in next time you would simply open select a folder highlight their name hit OK and it would load their folder and they'd be ready to run okay at this point we go to the button below folder selections it says run the next session it will actually take us to the training control screen okay looking up at the top as we zoom in we have a couple different options a lot of the windows we've just gone through we've given you access to some of those settings live from the training screen so for instance as I click on data you notice that I can choose a COM port as I go down I can play back a file that's if it was saved EEG if I want to save EEG to disk I can select that I can also select the notch filters and I can even show the login data so a lot of this is access to information we've already gone through but you have that live access to it from the training screen as I go to display you'll notice that remember we chose raw waveform filter waveform thermometer and trends again this is where I can turn on and on or off panels from the training screen the next option is frequency bands these are the frequency bands that we've selected to see on the panels and again before I had mentioned we could look at alpha or we could look at low beta even though we're ignoring them for feedback this allows you to turn them on or turn them off from the training screen color is simply do we want our waves in color or do we want them in white and sound as we look at this window you'll notice it looks very similar to the feedback window we just were looking at a few moments ago we can choose reward sounds or coherence tones or comp complex sounds but now we get some additional information as we scroll down slightly we see bell click symbol ding hammer more space and nice click these are all the dot wave files that we can actually play with reward sounds so I'm gonna go up and select bell okay once you select you'll notice the menu disappears but we can go back and confirm that bell was selected okay as then I click off the menu will disappear we're ready essentially to hit go our current protocol is on a simulation for demonstration purposes so as I hit go it's gonna tell me simulation is running so as we zoom in this control box tells us master 25 simulations running to start the session press OK when the EEG signal is good now if you actually had a client hooked up to the brain master right now you'd be verifying that you had a nice clean signal we're currently just running saved random noise through a signal generator so it doesn't really look like EEG but it's still powering the panels and the different optional displays so as I click OK my session begins